Hello students! Welcome to Grade 10 Science Lesson. And I'm your teacher, Mom Marian Soriano. Have you ever wondered why fan is rotating? This is because there's an electric motor inside the fan that makes it rotate. But what's going on inside the motor that makes the fan rotate? Let's find out in today's lesson. Lesson 8. Simple Electric Motor and Generator Motors and generators are essential for modern technology and magnetic induction is the phenomenon that makes them work. What is electromagnetic induction? In 1831, physicist Michael Faraday discovered electromagnetic induction, revealing the intimate relationship between the observed phenomena of magnetism and electricity. Faraday discovered that electromagnetic or magnetic induction is the production of an electromotive force or EMF across an electrical conductor in a changing magnetic field. The Faraday's law of induction is a law of physics designed to accurately predict and measure how a magnetic field will interact with an electric circuit to produce an electromotive force. Electromotive force convert other forms of energy such as electrical energy into mechanical energy. This law of physics is what allows us to create both electric motors and electric generators. Although these two types of machinery perform opposite functions, they both rely on the same underlying laws of physics. Motors and Generators What are electric motors and generators? An electric motor is a device that converts electrical energy into mechanical energy to produce a turning effect while a generator is a device that converts mechanical energy into electrical energy. Let's study first electric motors. The electric motor first appeared in the 1740s through the work of Scottish Benedictine monk and scientist Andrew Gordon. Other scientists such as Michael Faraday and Joseph Henry continued to develop early electric motors, experimenting with electromagnetic fields and discovering how to convert electrical energy into mechanical energy. Here are some basic parts of an electric motor. An electric motor will have an armature with current running through it and either another electromagnet or permanent magnet. The standard armature is made up of a solenoid. Keep in mind that the more solenoid coils and more current running through them, the stronger the electromagnet. Therefore, the stronger the interacting magnetic fields, the more powerful the motor is. In general, electric motors have three main parts, a stator, a rotor, and a commutator. These three parts use the attractive and repulsive forces of electromagnetism causing the motor to spin continually as long as it receives a steady flow of electric current. Every electric motor has two essential parts, one is stationary and one that rotates. The stationary part is the stator. The stator is most often a permanent magnet or row of magnets lining the edge of the motor casing. Inserted into the stator is the rotor usually consisting of copper wire wound into a coil around an axle. When electric current flows through the coil, the resulting magnetic field pushes against the field created by the stator and makes the axle spin. On the other hand, the commutator, which sits at one end of the coil, is a metal ring divided into two halves. The commutator reverses the electrical current in the coil each time the coil rotates half a turn. The commutator periodically reverses the current between the rotor and the external circuit or the battery. This ensures that the ends of coils do not move in opposite directions and ensures that the axle spins in one direction.
In addition, at one end of the motor are the brushes and the terminals. They are at the opposite end from where the rotor exits the motor casing. The brushes send electrical current to the commutator and are typically made of graphite. Remember that motors can be brushless too. On the other hand, the terminals are the locations where the battery attaches to the motor and sends the current to spin the rotor. There are two classifications of electrical motors. Most motors are powered using direct current or DC, which is produced by cells and batteries. Motors powered by main electricity use alternating current or AC. These motors use electromagnets rather than permanent magnets. How does an electric motor work? A battery is used to magnetize the coils. Creates a magnetic field traveling north to south outside the coil. North end of the coil is attracted to the south end of the magnet. Vice versa for the south end of the coil. This attraction causes the axle to make half a rotation. Electric Generators As one of the most influential scientists of the 19th century, Michael Faraday took inspiration from the work of Danish physicist Hans Christian Ørsted, who realized in 1820 that an electric current could be changed into a magnetic force. This discovery led to Faraday's law and the first electromagnetic direct current generator called Faraday's disk, which is a type of homopolar balanced polarity generator. An electric generator is the opposite of a motor. Most simple DC contain the same basic parts as simple alternating current generators do. For an electric generator, an armature needs to rotate in a magnetic field produced by a magnet. The changing magnetic field as the armature rotates forces electrons through the armature's solenoid inducing current. Notice in our model that no current is produced when the armature is not being rotated. Uses of electric motors and generators Look around your house and you will find that it is filled with electric motors. Here's an interesting experiment for you to try. Walk through your house and count all the motors you find. Starting in the kitchen, there are motors. The blender, the refrigerator, two or three in fact, one for the compressor, one for the fan inside the refrigerator, as well as one in the ice maker, or even your food mixer. In the utility room, there is an electric motor in the washing machine, the vacuum cleaner, and even in the electric drill. Even in the bathroom, there is a motor in the exhaust fan, and even in the hair dryer. Your car or motorcycle is loaded with electric motors too. So how many electric motors can you find at home? To make your appliances at home works like TV, lights, charging your phones and laptops, a generator is needed. Power stations use generators to produce electricity on a large scale. Mechanical energy is provided by rotating turbines that can be powered by high-pressure steam in coal, oil, gas, and nuclear power stations, wind, and even falling water in hydroelectric power stations. Let's test your knowledge about our lesson. Let's have an assessment. Get a piece of paper and a pen. You may pause the video as you answer the assessment. Let's start. True or false? Write true if the statement is correct and false if it's incorrect. Number 1. An electric motor is a device that converts mechanical energy into electrical energy. Number 2. The commutator is the part of a motor that enables the coil to rotate using direct current. Number 3. 
A generator is a device that converts electrical energy into mechanical energy. Number four, electromotive force convert other forms of energy such as electrical energy into mechanical energy. Number five, DC motors are mostly powered by cells and batteries. Number six, no current is produced when the armature is not being rotated in electric generators. Number seven, the more solenoid coils in a motor, the stronger the electromagnet. Number eight, AC motors use electromagnets rather than permanent magnets. Number nine, according to Faraday's law, any change in the magnetic environment of a coil of wire will cause a voltage to be induced in the coil. And lastly, number 10, most appliances at home is powered by electricity generated by generators in power plants. Let's check your answer. Here are the answers for the assessment. Great job! To summarize what you have learned, motors and generators are electromagnetic devices. Motors and generators have current-carrying loops that rotate in magnetic fields. This rapidly changing magnetic field produces electromotive forces called EMFs or voltages. Electric motors and generators are the opposite of each other. Electric motors convert electrical energy into mechanical energy while electric generators convert mechanical energy into electrical energy. Some electric generators can be driven by human power such as hand crank or a bicycle to generate electricity. I hope you learned and enjoyed our lesson. This is Mom Marian Soriano. See you in the next lesson.